we are tackling my memory trunk. I have a little bit of anxiety about it, as you can tell, because I'm talking really fast and I really can't help it and I can't really slow it down at this point. <laughs> can you feel the anxiety radiating off me? And also, my goal is to Swedish death clean today without the Swedish death bawling. Okay, I'm avoiding it. Can you feel it? I'm avoiding it. I, I, we're just gonna start right now. Welcome back to The Helpful Home. I'm Sunday Dawn, and on today's Tiny Tidy Tuesday, we are tackling my memory trunk. It's been a big... Do you ever have those projects that are just like weighing down on your shoulders? I would say once upon a time it was fairly organized, but over the last maybe year or so I've received a few piles of things from people, like a pile of photos a family member gave me of my grandmother's. Um, my birth mother passed away. I received my one third of her memory box, essentially. It was essentially like going through her memory box. That was, that was trippy. Um, but now I have those things. I just have, I've had lots of things accumulating on the top, like inside my memory box, but just on top of the rest of the memorabilia. And I am getting ready to start Project Lifing, my childhood and my husband's childhood so that well, for ourselves also, but so our kids will have an album with hubby and I's childhoods growing up. Because right now, um, I do have, well, probably 28. We've been married 28 years. Yeah, I probably have 28. So I have an annual album for every year for my family. And I've just recently got all the way caught up. So we're all caught up on our family albums, which gives me some time before next year starts to... Do something with some of these family heritage and childhood memorabilia photos of hubby and I. So I'm gonna empty my memory box like all the way empty empty all the way empty. I have a little bit of anxiety about it as you can tell because I'm talking really fast and I really can't help it and I can't really slow it down at this point but um <laughs> can you feel the anxiety radiating off me? Um it's okay we're gonna do it. And also my goal is to Swedish death clean today without the Swedish death bawling. And that is because today is not about going through memorabilia. It's just about sorting. So I'm already like made a promise to myself that I'm not going to open anything emotional. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but like I've done that. We've done some of that this year. And today is about putting my personal memory trunk you know, setting that to right so that it can be enjoyed and used so that I can do something with some of that memorabilia. Okay, I'm avoiding it. Can you feel it? I'm avoiding it. I, I we're just gonna, we're just gonna start right now. And as always, Tiny Tidy Tuesday is an open playlist collaboration. Please click on the link in the description box below to watch all the other ladies' motivational, inspirational content. And please don't forget to let us know what we inspired you to Tiny Tidy today. Okay, so do you ever find the pile of photographs you've printed for a project? And you're like, that's where those were. That's where these were. Okay, I literally need these for a project today. I'm happy I ran across them because they're literally in my Walgreens app again because I didn't know where I put those. But I just got into my memory box to tidy up because I had received a bunch of a bunch of things from a family member recently and I just plopped it on top of everything else because I wasn't ready to deal with it. And then as most of you know, who are regular viewers, I received my one third of my mother's one box of belongings when she passed away. And the same thing, I just popped those, they're not here right now, I pulled them off, but I just popped them on top of the items in my memory box. So underneath were fairly organized, but alas, the last two piles of things I just felt a little too emotionally fragile to deal with. So I just shoved them inside. And apparently I shoved inside all the photos from, oh, I know what this is from. This is from when I did my big photo project on my chalkboard in the dining room. I will link that video below. Yeah. I think that's what these are from. These are the leftovers, and I realized I was gonna put these on the other chalkboard in my kitchen. So, these do not belong in my memory box. I'm not really sure how those got past 
that lid. But let's tidy it up and try not to cry because we've done too much crying over our memory box in the last month. Okay, this is when I have to get real with myself. I have found my Grandma Margie's cake decorating books, which are like a big deal in my world. I would say this one more so than this one. So in true, true Swedish death cleaning, we are tiny tidying our way through a Swedish death clean. I don't think I'm gonna keep this one because I don't recognize any of these cakes. So yeah, not familiar with these cakes. I'm, we were huge Disney people, but I don't think I ever had a Mickey cake. I had lots of amazing cakes, but yeah, none of them were out of here. So I'm gonna let that one go, keep this one because I did have, like we made those. I know I had so many cakes out of this book. Yeah, I see several already. Yep, Easter egg cake. Yeah, we made lots of these. Yeah, and that one was a specific favorite. I loved that one when I was little. And I loved the bunny cake. I don't think she did the tortoise and the hare. I think she just did a bunny cake. But I'm going to save this one. And then I'm going to go through these because some of these I have no recollection of and some of them mean something to me. So I actually have pictures of some of these cakes. So I think I'm gonna keep the recipe that goes with the pictures I have of the cake. What is this? What do you want to visit? Card explaining why you want to visit the set of Magnum. I'm pretty sure, 25 words or less, this is a riot. I'm pretty sure this is a note from one of my Grandma Margie's trips to Hawaii. I'm going to guess she wanted to visit the set of Magnum P.I. because that is such a Grandma Margie thing to do. And I'm going to guess this is how she was going to get tickets. I will confer with my sister aunt. But that is so my Grandma Margie, right behind the royal frosting. She was so hilarious and quirky. And she loved her some Magnum P.I. Got a picture of my grandma with Dog the Bounty Hunter. She loved her some dog, too. How's this for Swedish death cleaning? We went about halfsies. I kept this one because it is such a huge, a huge collection of her handwriting. I don't have many things with this much of her handwriting. It's like a whole page. So anyways, it's just for royal icing flowers, which is very basic, but I kept that for that reason. And then each one of these, you'll see in a moment, each one of these, I have photos of these cakes. This was such a huge part of her life and thus a big part of my life growing up watching her decorate these cakes. And so I'm keeping these because I have the photos to go with it. And then I'm keeping the book that matters to me that I remember that she apparently got at a garage sale for $2.50. I'm letting go of these and it's been a long time coming, but I don't use these. Um, once upon a time, my oldest really loved cake decorating and kind of wanted to be interested in that. And so we took some of my grandma Margie's things so far, none of us have a real great reaction to sugar or gluten or dairy or egg. So alas, that didn't really become a big part of our life. And I actually just decorated a cake for my husband's um, promotion party we had. And I just used very basic things right out of the cake aisle. I just grabbed a few, tossed the rest, and I don't really need to store these. So I'm gonna let those go. These are the recipes I don't need. And this is the book that I just, I don't recognize any cakes out of. So yeah, we're gonna let this stash go. We're gonna keep this stash and I'm going to keep this and I don't know why it's not with my cooking things. So I'm gonna pop that in my kitchen because again, sometimes I'll make a gluten-free, dairy-free, egg-free, soy-free cupcake or cake for a birthday, actually kind of often. Um, but I just use a Simple Mills frosting and cake mix. But alas, I can spread frosting. So this is going to go in my kitchen. This is going back in the memory box. This is getting Swedish death cleaned, baby. Moving on. Okay, my daughters. These are my daughters. I don't know why my... These go in their memory boxes, which are right there. I'm not really sure why those are in my memory box. I'm going to have to be a little careful about this because some of this is private. Oh, 
all my honey's love letters. Kids nowadays don't have love letters because um, they have cell phones. How do you live without love letters from your honey? Let me see. Oh, I think the one, it's not as bad as it seems. That's not good. We probably broke up that day. Girlfriend, Sunday, please read now. Oh, I know what that one was. <laughs> I have one that says, to the best girlfriend in the world. And I think it is in, I think it is in my nightstand. LA Dodger symbol. This is what happens when you go to high school with your future husband to my girlfriend from you know who, I hope. To the greatest girl I've ever known, my girlfriend Sunday. See, I was looking for that. There's another one that says to the best girlfriend ever. Oh, love my man. Aw, come a long way from here, baby. This was, let's see, we've almost been married 28 years, and so this was 31 years ago. 31 years ago. Oh my word, did I just age myself so bad? Okay, so I'm gonna, oh, <laughs> I'm not gonna show you these. Cause these I wrote him, but I'm pretty sure his mother read all these cause she delivered these to me. When we were first married, as soon as we bought our house, she brought me over all the contents of his bedroom just to the store, like these aren't mine anymore, including these. And there's no way that woman didn't read all these. <laughs> okay, time to tidy those. And then, oh, these are Braden's. Oh, I'm so glad I'm in here. I worked on an album for my son-in-law and um, then we found some other pictures that we want to do something with. So I will sort those now and then we'll move along with my memory box. Now, these are interesting because truthfully, truthfully, these were never in my bedroom growing up, these specific copies. But this photo was in my bedroom growing up. In fact, I think it was an eight by 10 or larger. And my grandmother had it hanging in my bedroom growing up and I have always loved it. I do not know the artist. I wonder if that information is on the back. Bessie, Bessie Pease Gutman. Huh. I've never ever thought to look at that. Bessie Pees Gutman. I, I'm sure some of you will recognize her work because it's it's very famous and I do recognize it. And I have seen all of these. I don't believe this one we owned, but we owned this one. And as I said, when I was a little girl, this hung in my room for years. And I'm such a dog lover and I loved the little doggy in it. We had a dog named Ralphie at the time growing up and then we had a dog named Bandon. And so definitely my childhood was dog years for me. And so I ran across these at a garage sale or, or a family member. I can't remember who found them at a garage sale, but one of us found them at a garage sale and I was like, yes, I want them. I think they hung in my Madeline's baby room when she was very little. That's how long I've had them. I think by the time we got Claire and I kind of transferred that room to a the two of them bedroom, it didn't look very baby anymore. So I don't think this ever hung in Claire's room. But I had a copy in my bedroom growing up and Madeline had this hanging in her bedroom when she was a baby. So I'm keeping those. They're just, your memory box is whatever you want it to be. And I want it to be a collection of the pieces of my life that, that just bring me back those nostalgic, glowing, warm feelings inside where you just... You know how something can just take you back. These cakes, I mean, they can just, I can smell my grandma baking. This might not look like much to somebody else, and some of them weren't, but these specific cakes, I can just smell her cooking. And this just takes me back to the beautiful transition of this was in my childhood room when I was a very small child, and this one hung in my baby's first baby room. So. Like I said, you do you, boo. You're all going to have to figure out what your keepsake box looks like. Um, and for instance, listen, we're having a pretty good day. You want me to tell you about it? We're having a pretty good day because I found this. Dun, dun, dun. But I'm not going to open it. Okay, listen. 
So things have escalated a bit. I mean, it, it always gets worse before it gets better, right? I mean, there's stuff back there. I forgot about that crap. Ah, I forgot about that crap. That's not even... Oh, my word. Hey, I wore this pin on my first day of kindergarten. And uh, this is the only photograph I have of my father ever. Oddly, I screenshotted and swiped it off Facebook. Somebody put it up one year on his birthday. Wish it were a better picture, but um, hey, at least I have a picture. Okay, um, I thought this was amazing. My grandparents' 25th anniversary silver frame for their silver anniversary. And this was in her house, like, my whole life. I loved it. She's such a glamour puss. Check out that outfit. And yes, my grandpa Frank looked just like Jack Nicholson. And um, then I saved this 25th anniversary card that someone gave us for our 25th anniversary because it was just, like, how full circle. Oh, my word. This was, like, of course, their 25th anniversary was the year I was born. I was born in 77. But I just like always loved that. So when she passed away, I that was definitely something I wanted to keep. And it goes in my memory box. And now it can go with my 25th anniversary card. Oh my word. Okay, listen. The truth is, this is now organized. And I have a huge toss pile. Like a huge toss pile. I decided not to keep anything I did not want. Ooh, this is not organized. This is my last thing. I forgot I have not done these because I need to peel them out. Why? Why does this exist? Why? It's just destroying your photos, people. Arr. Okay, I gotta rip these out. So disgusting. Also, let's not look at that hair day. Oh, that's my graduation poster. Okay, we'll get to that. But this is my last sort pile. And then Claire Bear needs me to run an errand with her. And I think it's perfect timing because I am going to run by the craft store and pick up some envelopes. I'm definitely, now that I'm finally caught up with my, um, my immediate family, like my husband and my children and our 27 years of marriage, 27 or 28. What year is it? We married 28 years. Wow, 28 years. So now that I'm completely caught up on our 28 years of annual albums, I feel like it is time that I can start albuming our childhood photos, my husband and I's childhood photos, and like our early married photos. Yeah, I think I'm ready to deal with it. So, but now that I've sorted them, I need some sort of organization system for them. So I'm going to hit the craft store while I'm out with Kiki. And then I'll be able to put these back in a better fashion. But I am going to deal with this first. I'm going to deal with that first. I'm going to rip those out first. Also, how gorgeous was my Grandma Margie? Look at that lady. Oh, I loved her butterfly necklace. There I am. Oh, I loved her butterfly necklace. And her in her favorite place in the world. She is from Portugal, had lots of family in Hawaii. Oh, here, I found me with one of my cakes. And I did find, oh, I found all the, oh, let's do this. This is so cool. Okay, I don't want to make, we're going to toss that. I just thought you should see that, like, no, she hasn't changed. She hasn't changed a bit. Okay, so let's see. Baby shower sheet cake. How cool is that? This was her plans for that one. This was my favorite as a kid. That is her cornucopia cake. The woman made a cornucopia cake. Look at that. Tell me that isn't the bomb. What's up next? Oh, this was just a birthday. Oh, I know which one. It's the pansy cake. And I remember this cake, but I don't think I have a photo of the pansy cake. Nope. Yeah, I don't think I'll keep that. Um, rainy day cake. I remember that too, but I don't think I have a photo of that either. The fishing, the Father's Day cake. That was such a classic. How great is that? That was like a fondant fish. So good. The fan. Oh, I don't have a picture of the fan cake. That's 
so funny. The ones that I don't have a picture of. The basket cake was stupid awesome. Look at that. The clown cake. I loved that. But alas, I'm going to keep that because that was like, I think there might be a picture of me holding that cake. And I'm going to keep the doll because it was literally a cake with a Barbie sticking out of it. The Halloween cake. How cool is that? Yeah, I'm going to not save. Yeah, I'm going to save Grandpa George's cake. And I'm going to save Christmas because I remember those. I'm not going to save our potluck cake. Okay. All right. These can go back. And these can be tops. Okay. I'm going to go through these, hit the craft store, and now that these have been sorted, I know it looks so bad. It's so much better than it looks. They have been sorted. They just need to have a system. So Kiki and I are going to hit the craft store and make a system so that when I go to Project Life, my memorabilia photos, um, you know, those childhood photos and those old family photos, that there's a system. So I can just start on one of my once a month photo organization videos and just pluck some out and work alongside you, hopefully. Okay, be back soon. We've hit the big time now, baby. <laughs> I found my graduation pictures. Who is she? Who is she? She has brown hair. She used to be pretty cute, I gotta say. I mean, we got a little 1990s hair going on, but, um, yeah, how hilarious is that? This is so funny. Funny. That looks like me because that's my big goofy grin and my giant nose. These are so funny. Oh, you want to see something better? You want to see something better than 18-year-old Sunday? I mean, like, should I insert photo now of Chris as a papa? I mean, he's still so handsome, but he's shaved his head for quite some time now and he has a big old beard. This is what my man looked like when I married him. I mean, come on. Check out that jaw. He had such pretty lips, you can't see his lips anymore. He's got a beard. Okay, let's move along. But, I mean, come on. How cute were we? <laughs> These are just cracking me up. I just sent them to my daughters. Okay, now, I have sufficiently tossed all of the garbage. Oh, this last this last one. This is my last one. These need pulled out of here. That was what most of these were. They must have been my grandmother's. Come on, come on. Okay, I will pull these out, run to the craft store, and run an errand with my Claire Bear, and then come back and put these in the appropriate envelope so that starting to album them which is a better use of my photo memorabilia, will be easier. Okay, headed out with Kiki. This is not a drill, really going this time. When I got up to leave to buy envelopes, this is what I saw. <laughs> it's so much better than it looks, folks. It is so much better than it looks. Listen. It's not as bad as it looks. We're like, we're on the other side of it. You're just going to have to trust me. You're just going to have to trust me. It's completely sorted and ready to go back into the memory trunk. It just needs some organization. And the problem is I have micro organized to the umpteenth little degree how completely perfectly this is all divvied up. I am off to buy envelopes and get out my label maker. Because believe it or not, this makes sense in my head. This makes sense in my head. I mean, I don't know what that says about me, but I'm feeling pretty good about this organization. <laughs> Just go with it. I spot a bad memory and bad memories go into the trash. If you're an OG, you know. If you know, you know. And he goes into the trash pile. Isn't that where all the bad memories belong? Well, 
Well, I'm back from the store with the goods. And I have to say I'm a little deflated because it looks worse than I remembered, but I really think it's not going to be that bad. Maybe I will start by cleaning up the trash pile. Actually, I will empty that and put the trash pile there. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Oh, why did I leave? Because I needed supplies. Okay, just do it. One foot in front of the other. Here we go. Okay, I said I wouldn't get sappy, but here's a card that I took home after she passed away. She had kept it in her nightstand for years. To the best mom and grandma of all. I mean, ugh. I'm glad I told her thank you, and I did tell her thank you often, but thank you so much for all you have given me. Words cannot express the gratitude I feel. You have given me a life I could never have had. Oh, my word. Okay, I wasn't going to cry. I wasn't going to cry. But today I'm grateful that I told her many, many times. And I told her on her deathbed, like, she wasn't even really awake, and I said it one last time. Okay, so here's what I came up with. I got some, I believe they are five by seven. Is that what these are? Six by nine, six by nine envelopes. And I got a pack of nine by 12 envelopes. And then I got these. And I actually think these are gonna be a great, I know it's not completely long-term storage, but I was looking at the envelopes and I found a couple binders. And I think I can organize our like I said, memorabilia photos, heritage photos, whatever you want to call them. I think I can order the, organize them into the, like for instance, I can put the few cards I saved from our grandmothers here. I can save some memorabilia in the zipper. And then back here, I can organize into the manila envelopes, but then this can be like my childhood. This can be Chris's childhood, and I can kind of separate them a little more efficiently than just the envelope. So we're going to see how that goes, but that is the plan. And I'm just going to start popping photos into envelopes and labeling them with my trusty label maker. It looks like I've had this idea before. <laughs> I think... When Chris's mom brought some photos, I popped them in an envelope, but the rest of these hadn't really been sorted very well. So we will continue on this track with the rest of my piles. Okay, stuff is about to get real. Oh, my hair is getting real. This is the part where I struggle with this type of thing. It's the same reason I didn't do traditional baby books or wedding books for myself or my daughter. I found some sort of hybrid daughters plural. Um, because I never know how to list my family because I'm literally just sitting here with a stack of my family photos from growing up. And I went to like type a label and I don't know whether to put immediate family because they're my mom's immediate family. And really they're my extended family, but they did adopt me, but she didn't adopt me till grandpa died. So technically I was just being fostered essentially um I don't know I never know like on documents in a baby album or a marriage with like a wedding book I never know who to put as my mom and dad do I put my grandparents because they raised me or do I put my mom and dad even though I don't know my dad at all and I haven't seen my mom in 30 something years anyways real life hangups of why I avoid this trunk. And yet I am getting all the warm fuzzies. Like I'm thrilled that I did this and I'm thrilled that I didn't open anything I wasn't prepared to open today because I'm just getting to like almost keep it surface and just feel the feels of the childhood because regardless of how crazy and convoluted and completely disturbing my childhood was, it was also mine. And so like I have fond memories of my weird, completely drama childhood. It's just mine. But I still don't know what to put on the envelope. I think I'm gonna put... I'm gonna put the street name of where we grew up. <laughs> that's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put the street name of where I grew up because that's the only thing I can think to do because I don't know what to put them as. 
because I'm complicated. Okay, well I have filled the first one of my organizational pouches and I love it. I'm really thrilled with the system. So here are my special cards from my grandmother and from Christopher's grandmother, Grandma Madeline, my daughter's namesake, and then a very special card I gave her. I don't save all the cards, obviously. I have four, but I've saved the most important ones to myself. Here are postcards I like to collect from our vacations. They fit very nicely in that pouch. This pouch holds my mother memorabilia which is memorabilia I got from her and then I've organized the photos I retrieved from her box and so this is sort of like her pouch and then back here I've got the different so I've got mama's childhood photos so I put mama and daddy on these because these are ultimately Swedish death cleaned for my children I get to live with the enjoyment of having a cleaned up space and enjoy my organized home and access to my memorabilia, but these are really being left for my children. So this is Mama's childhood photos, immediate family, that's me. This is behind this other Mama's childhood photos. These are just photos of me. And then Mama's childhood photos, that's an extended family. So I put their last name there. And so I will zip that closed. I will put my cards, my special cards from me and hubby in this pouch. I read some of these to my oldest today. She said they were very sweet and disgusting. So that's what it's like to hear your love letters from your parents to one another. This pouch, I'm wondering if I could put, I just don't think, you know what, I think I'm going to save this. And I'm going to put um, Chris and I's letters in Chris's pouch because his is a little emptier than mine because his mother is still alive and we have not yet gone through his mother's things. Not that we've gone through all of my mother's things, my grandmother, but um, I have a, quite a bit more than he does have. This is actually the key to this. I may just put the key to, well, no, we'll think on that. We'll think of a use for that. And I'm gonna start filling Hubby's binder now. I actually found the funeral card from my grandfather's funeral and I know I have them from my grandmother and Chris's grandmother and Chris's father. So I think I will put our funeral cards. Again, I don't keep them for every family member, just our nearest and dearest. It has the year they were born, the year they died, where they're from, information about their funeral, songs that were sung, etc. So. That will be good for that. And there's still room to grow in here. This isn't going to be zipped so full. But yeah, I think I'll start to fill Hubby's pouch that I bought. Okay, Hubby's binder, I've got our family heritage photos for his side. There are a few more heritage photos I have in a strictly black and white old school heritage photo container. It's actually a vintage album holder. I will probably be sorting that soon, although it is fairly sorted. And then back here I've got his family photos, his childhood photos, his family Polaroids, and his grandmother's family Polaroids. So his side is mostly full on this side. I almost stuck my love letters to him in here, but I think I might leave them, I think I might leave them out. Um, his binder will fill up. Um, we haven't gone through his mother's photos yet, but his binder will fill up farther. This is just sort of our stopgap solution here in the middle, but I was pretty happy. I've got Heritage Photos graduation down there. I've got Chris's binder, my binder, my grandma Margie's cake decorating stuff. Yeah, I think this is going to be great. I will probably, I need to get something to tie up my love letters and I've got his love letters tied up in there, but we're real close to done. Oh, I'm going to pop these. I am still going to keep these. I got grandbabies. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll put them in the playroom, but they mean something to me. So I will pop these under there. And so once I put those under there, we are good to go. We have achieved a tidied memory bin.
yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I have a couple of things out. I have a small pile of Disney photos that I'm going to, they're just, actually they're the large file. These are all my Disney photos from growing up, which is, what did I say, 16, 15, 16 trips. Back in the day, that's how many photos you took because you took like a roll of 24 on each trip. But um, those are gonna go in an album shortly. I may pop them right on my Project Life stand. In fact, I'm going to. So I'm not gonna put those back in. But this will go in, I will probably put, you know what, I'm going to pop my grandmother's pillowcase because, no, I'm going to do, no, I'm going to make handkerchiefs for my daughters and myself out of that. I was trying to think of something to do with it. So these will both be out for projects. I will start with my Disney Project Life album, and then I'm going to take this apart and sew it into nice little handkerchiefs for my daughters and I. So that does not need to go back in. One of my mother's watches, the other one is already with my jewelry. I'll pop that in. I think that's it. I think we've really covered it other than the love letters, which I'm going to buy some lovely pink ribbon, tie those up and pop these beneath here. Yeah, did it. Did it folks. We did it. I'm quite pleased. This was overwhelming at a certain point. It was a little touch and go. Thank you so much though for sticking around here for our Tiny Tidy Tuesday, another Swedish death cleaning edition. And please be back here next Tuesday for all of your tiny tidying inspiration.